Untamed Oceans. I'm Josh. And I'm Michael. And today we're on the South Florida coast looking for some endangered species. Here we're looking for the stingray. And although these beaches are gorgeous, we're going to need to find somewhere that's a little more calm for the stingray. We found a local preserve nearby where we'll be able to look into the daily life of these stingrays. Stay tuned on this episode of Untamed, Untamed Oceans. Oceans. Untamed Oceans is a thrilling new television show that will take you on a breathtaking journey into the unexplored depths of the world's oceans. Join us as we venture into some of the most remote and dangerous waters on the planet. Encouraging awe-inspiring marine life and witness stunning natural phenomena along the way. From the bustling coral reefs of the tropics to icy expanses of the polar regions, Untamed Oceans will immerse you in the wonders of the underwater world like never before. With state-of-the-art filming technology and a team of expert divers and marine biologists, we will bring you up close and personal with some of the most elusive and fascinating creatures on Earth. Get ready to be amazed, inspired, and awed by the beauty and power of the untamed oceans. We have finally arrived here at the nearby nature center where they house hundreds of animals for recovery and rehabilitation. Specifically, we are here for the stingrays. We managed to get an exclusive interview with senior aquarist Keith Herman, who is going to give us some more insight about these stingrays and what life is like for them inside the center. We have Keith Herman here to give us some information about the species and animals here at Gumbo Limbo Nature Center. All right, so in general, um, sharks and stingrays across the board, the females will be 30% uh, or a little bit larger. So the females are gonna be the larger of the two uh, genders. And that is because the males are really only um, helpful in the capacity that they need them for fertilization for to make babies and other than that the males have no interaction with the females um, that means mom needs to be larger to be able to protect the babies and be able to um, keep them inside while they are in development where she will then have in general live young at the end of her uh, gestation um, stingrays do, in general, have a barb. It lives um, usually toward the tail and um, just past the end of the body. It lives on top of the tail. It is not, um, they don't have the ability to shoot it off. It is stuck to them. It is a defensive weapon only. And they're really only going to use that if they feel threatened or if somebody's trying to eat them like a, like a shark of some sort, uh, hammerheads. Um, uh, have a favorite meal of stingrays and if you look in the wild a lot of the hammerheads will actually have stingray barbs around their mouth and that'll actually be because they're trying to defend themselves in their you know, while they're being eaten um, let me see the male stingrays that we have here on site they all have external genitalia so you, we do have some sexual dimorphism in our stingrays so you can tell the boys uh, apart from the females and they will have a, uh, a paired structure right at the base of their body around their tail it look um, for comparison they looks like a little set of breadsticks so if you can see if you have a shark or a ray that goes by where you can see an external uh, genitalia it's almost it's almost exclusively a male commonly in our area um, we do see spotted eagle rays right here on our beaches we collected the atlantic rays right here in the intracoastal waterway uh, we do see yellow rays locally as well i see southern rays locally like right on right on bocas beaches um, most of our ray species uh, that are in the state are found commonly in palm beach county and the boca area we finally made it back to the studio now let's talk a little bit about how we can save these species Stingrays are an absolutely amazing species that are littered throughout the South Florida coast. To help combat poaching, urban development, and global warming, and other things and factors that may affect stingrays, organizations like Gumbo Limbo and others have helped by bringing them in to help them revitalize and rehab back into health. Some ways that you can help is volunteering or donating to organizations just like Gumbo Limbo. But now, let's head back to the beach where we started. I don't know about you, Josh, but I think that was a successful day. Tune in next time where we tackle California's craziest creatures on Untamed, Untamed Oceans. Oceans.